and here's what's happening at Utopia Farms today. It looks like a storm, but we're combining. He's actually going to try go across. Let's get started. Yesterday was that beautiful, sunny, summer-like weather, and today, with the wind, and we got lots of dark clouds around, it feels like we're gonna have a storm. I checked the weather, says not, but definitely feels like it, so fingers crossed we can get the beans finished today, and then it can rain, because to be honest, it's way too dry, and in order to tear up the fields and get them ready for next spring, we need the ground soft. You can't get any equipment to dig through the ground when it's this hard, so. Just a few hours. Today the challenge will be keeping out of the way of all the dust because it is a major windstorm today. Today we've moved from the original field we were at yesterday and we've moved down the road a little bit to our next property. Arnie's pulling in here now. And he might want me to move the car. Maybe not. Gotta keep out of the way for all these guys to get their work done. Right now, we're gonna be inundated with the dust as it blows towards us. Oh, nasty. Okay, I'm gonna make a mad dash for the back of the field so I can film from upwind because being downwind today just doesn't cut it. But there's our beans filling up the tank. They look really nice. I'll tell ya, it looked dusty yesterday, but today it feels dusty. It's horrible. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> okay, I'm in the safety of my car right now. Until he changes around, I can't get to the back of the field without literally being covered head to toe with that debris. Arnie's just come to pick up the trailer that carries the head of the combine. The head is the part that's uh, cutting the beans because when he goes to the next field, he's gonna have to take that off and put it on a trailer and bring it to the next field and then hook it back on again. That's not a foggy lens. something. Okay, I'm heading towards the back of the field. I'm getting upwind, but I thought I'd stop and get a view of them coming towards me. And you can see the, uh, the soybeans piled up already in the combine. And I guess he's going to be unloading it already. So, by the look of this field, just visually, um, I would say we're going to have a way bigger yield in this field than the one yesterday. Arnie was quite upset by the other one, as you could probably tell from yesterday's video. But um, I'll bring you over to the soybeans right now and give you a look at them. So the soybeans in this field are probably twice as tall 
as the ones in the other field. So obviously, if it's twice as tall, as long as the beans go from the bottom to the top, you're obviously gonna have a higher yield because you have more bean pods on each stem. So we'll have a look. As you can see, those beans are going right to the tippy top of the plant. So I'm expecting a much higher yield. Of course we're going to ask Cody when he's done, but I'd be shocked if we didn't. Oops, you better not miss me here <laughs> as I'm lying in the bean field. That's how quickly it takes to offload. Um, nine tons of corn, not corn, soybeans. It's really too bad that I had that in slow motion just then because as he was cutting that a little field mouse ran out of the beans and went hopping and skipping across this little uh, cut piece here to safety. Um, oh, it, would, it would have made a classic shot and of course yeah when you want to get those unusual moments something else happens but he made it to safety anyway so back to these beans yesterday the beans were probably in a lot of places to my knee and I'm not a very tall person these ones are to my waist I'll, I'll show a picture of that to you as well And that's what they look like close to. They're little fluffy pods. Uh, really having to watch out for rocks in the field because that sandier soil like at the other property 
also tends to have a lot of rocks. This field is total opposite. This one is a really soft field. It's, that's why you can see we have like marshes growing back here too. So when I walk in this soil, it's actually soft. So I'm guessing Arnie's gonna easily be able to work this field because when I step on it, my feet sink in and uh, he can't get into the rock solid ones yet. We do need a rain. But one thing that he won't like about this field is there's lots of nooks and crannies that he has to maneuver around. And like he said yesterday, he has a really big head. It's 35 feet. And when they say head, they're referring to that attachment at the front of the combine that actually cuts the grains down. this property a lot. It's a little wilder. It feels a little like more like nature and man are working together because there's a little bit of both here instead of total mass destruction. mentioned this before. It's not an egg. People put golf balls in our field. Right now um, Arnie is just cleaning some brush away from this culvert that he's gonna have to cross. 
because with that big head he's going to catch on those uh, little bushes. So Arnie's removing them. By the look of it, it might have been easier to cut them over. Okay, he's going to attempt to get across this culvert here. Hopefully he can do it, and hopefully Arnie knows to move out of the way. Because it's really narrow, and you got to be a really good driver, because his wheels have to get on either side of it. So these are all dead elm trees that have blown over. This is that uh, culvert that runs through our property that sometimes the beavers dam up. This isn't from beavers, this is definitely a wind-blown dead tree.
is blowing all the leaves off the trees. This will be the end of the fall colors when you get a big breeze like this at the end of the fall. It usually takes all the leaves off. So your scenery for looking at leaves is going to be really diminished right now. the dead elm trees right in this little area. It's a sad thing. They are a beautiful tree when they're alive. head off now I think to cross this culvert because we have a really big dead tree. If that tree was down I assume for next year Arnie's going to cut that tree down and then maybe he could get across but he's probably going to have to take this head off and go across to the other side. Oh, look, another golf ball. I thought Arnie was going to go get his trailer, but he's actually going to try go across. I can tell you, I would never do that. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so scary.
finish that first field or fields and he cut through a path we have in the bush back there and he's at the next road this is our alfalfa field we have frontage on two roads so right now he's really hoping that he can get this combine out of here and onto the road and be able to deke into our field, which is two fields down the road without hitting telephone poles or anything. He got a new head for this combine. Well, it's a new combine period. Um, and he got a 35 foot head, but now he's thinking that he should have gone with a smaller head because he does custom work and a lot of people have fields like us where it's hard to maneuver and get in and out. Right now I assume uh, he's fixing something here, something minor I guess. And then they're going to head over to the field. The problem is that there's the hydro pole right there and right here is a fence with a gate and posts and stuff. Other combines have gotten in here but this one like we said is a little bit bigger. And a few feet makes a lot of difference for something like this. But. He's turned it on, so I assume it all is good. Because the least amount of times he has to change that head, the better it is. So, so far he hasn't taken it off. We're almost at the very end of this field now. And then we're gonna call it a day. And hopefully we're gonna finish off tomorrow. And right now, it would be just amazing if it didn't rain. It's definitely threatening rain. And I just brought Ernie some lunch and some coffee. Take that head off, put it on the little wagon or trailer,
but I don't want to change heads very often. But Ben finds the whole process quite fascinating. Is that pretty cool, Ben? Is that pretty cool? Is it? Yeah, it looks interesting, doesn't it? So we're gonna call that a day. Tomorrow we'll finish up with combining, hopefully. We'll give you all our numbers. Today was definitely a better day. And we'll watch them load. And Arnie will give you all his theories. So stay tuned. Bye for now. Thank you.